Well, police say the shooting happened just before eight this morning. It's been more than 12 hours and Marcus Hatton is still on the run. Now, I'm told that the shooting happened just a short walk away from where I'm standing, but this is the second crime scene. We're told the victim, Steve Chenault, tried driving away after being shot multiple times, but ended up crashing into this home and also hit this red house that you're seeing right there. But really, the house that received the most damage is this one right here. And we saw uh, someone who lived here just walking in a short while ago. Now, I want to show you video of the scene from earlier today from the Arizona's family chopper, giving you a better look at the damage. Detectives say Chenault and Hatton knew each other and had an argument outside a home on North Vista Lane around 8 this morning. We're told Hatton shot Chenault multiple times and we were on that street where police say the shooting happened and saw a couple of bullet holes in a wall and a home and we're told no one else was hurt but neighbors are still worried about Hatton being on the run. It's a very unfortunate incident. I mean we never thought uh, that something like that could happen in this neighborhood. Another neighbor telling me he thought he heard a couple of loud booms before heading into work this morning, now thinking it might have been the gunshots. Still no word on what led up to the argument. But if you know anything that could help police track down the suspects, call detectives. And you all can also leave a tip for Silent Witness, an anonymous tip. We have all the information you need to know on azfamily.com. For now, reporting live in Casa Grande, Casey Torres, Arizona's family. Casey, thank you for that. A lot of anger and 